In September 2007, a small spacecraft left Earth on a voyage unlike any before it. Its name was Dawn, and it was bound for two ancient worlds adrift between Mars and Jupiter. Its mission? To visit Vesta and Ceres, the two largest bodies in the asteroid belt, and to uncover secrets from the dawn of the solar system itself. Vesta and Ceres are cosmic fossils, frozen time capsules that preserve the story of how planets like ours were born. By visiting both, Dawn would let us look back 4.5 billion years to see what our world might once have looked like before it became a living planet. For 11 years, this lonely explorer would drift through the dark sending back images, data and discoveries that changed how we see our solar system. But what did Dawn actually find out there? What secrets did it uncover about these forgotten worlds? You're watching The 101 Space. My name's Rob and if you enjoy this video, please tap the like button and leave a comment. It really does help more than you can imagine. After launching from Cape Canaveral, Florida, Dawn began its slow spiral outward from the Sun. It swung past Mars, using the planet's gravity as a slingshot to boost its speed. The quiet hum of its ion engines pushing it forward through the inky blackness of space. For nearly 2.8 billion kilometers, Dawn sailed through the void, no sound, no sunlight strong enough to warm its panels. Then, in May 2011, a faint light appeared ahead. A world shimmering in the dark, Vesta. This was Dawn's first image of Vesta, captured from 1.2 million kilometers away. A tiny, white pearl suspended against a sea of stars. In July 2011, Dawn slipped into orbit around the giant asteroid, becoming the first spacecraft in history to orbit an object in the asteroid belt. The images it sent back were breathtaking, a rugged, mountainous world battered by time and collisions, a survivor from an age of cosmic violence. This high-resolution view reveals Vesta's southern hemisphere for the first time. Deep craters, vast scars, and strange grooves stretch around its equator, each one the mark of ancient impacts, some powerful enough to almost shatter the world itself. Each trough spans 15 to 22 kilometers across and plunges several kilometers deep. Scars from colossal, ancient battles. In the Northern Hemisphere lies one of Vesta's most iconic features, a trio of overlapping craters nicknamed the Snowman. In true colour, it looks almost playful, three linked circles smiling up at the camera, a reminder that even on a cold, desolate asteroid, we still find familiar shapes and faces. For about a year, Dawn orbited this battered protoplanet, mapping its surface and studying its composition. What it found changed everything we thought we knew about asteroids. Vesta wasn't just a rock, it was a world in progress, a planetary embryo that never quite made it. Beneath its crust lie an iron core, a mantle, and a surface of basaltic rock, just like Earth's earlier layers. Vesta, it turned out, was one of the solar system's original building blocks, a world that stopped halfway from becoming a planet. In September 2012, after a year of exploration, Dawn gently broke orbit. It turned its solar panels toward the sun, fired its thrusters, and began the next leg of its journey, the lonely flight to our nearest dwarf planet. No, not Pluto, 
the Forgotten series. It took two and a half years and another 4.9 billion kilometers before it would arrive. And in March 2015, Dawn made history once again. It became the first spacecraft ever to orbit two celestial bodies, and the first to visit a dwarf planet, just a few months before New Horizons reached Pluto. From just 13,500 kilometers away, Dawn revealed a world that no human had ever seen up close. A cratered, icy sphere drifting silently through the asteroid belt. Ceres is immense, 946 kilometers wide, making it easily the largest object in the asteroid belt. Its surface, though scarred with countless craters, looks smoother than Vesta's, the result of an icy layer that slowly softens and reshapes the terrain over millions of years. It turns out that Ceres might not be a dead, icy rock. It might be slowly changing, its surface slowly evolving. Then came one of Dawn's most mysterious discoveries, a bright, reflective patch inside a crater named Arcata. From orbit, it looks like a cosmic beacon shining through the dark. These glimmering faculae are sodium carbonate salt deposits, evidence that briny liquids once rose from a subsurface reservoir that evaporated into space. And then there was Ahuna Mons, a solitary mountain rising nearly four kilometers high, a mountain unlike any here on Earth. It wasn't formed by fire, but by ice. Scientists believe it's a cryo-volcano, a volcano that once erupted not lava, but water and salt, a frozen monument to a once active world. And beneath its fractured crust, Dawn's instruments detected something extraordinary. Gravity and spectral data point to a briny layer, hints of a long-lived subsurface ocean that may have persisted into geologically recent times. Billions of years ago, that ocean may have stirred with chemical energy. It might even have once been warm enough to host the first precursors of life a possibility that places Ceres among the most intriguing bodies in the inner solar system. While Earth's oceans were just beginning to cool, another ocean may have glimmered here, halfway between Mars and Jupiter, before freezing in eternal silence. Through dawn, we realized Ceres isn't just a remnant of the early solar system, it's a bridge between the frozen outer worlds and the rocky planets like ours. A frozen world with the ghost of an ocean still whispering below its crust. In November 2018, after 11 years of service and more than 6.9 billion kilometers traveled, dawn fell silent. Its fuel had finally run out. NASA announced the mission complete, but Dawn was not gone. It will remain in orbit around Ceres, circling endlessly for decades. Eventually, its orbit will likely decay. Dawn will fall, descending slowly through the thin exosphere and crash softly into the surface of Ceres, becoming one with the world it once studied. Like the worlds it explored, Dawn became a relic, a frozen reminder of humanity's endless desire to explore. Through Dawn, we didn't just study two distant worlds, we looked into the ancient heart of our solar system and caught a glimpse of how worlds like ours were born. Just think of all the other forgotten worlds in our solar system we haven't yet visited. What else is still out there, waiting to be discovered?
If you've made it this far, thank you. You are exactly the kind of person I make these videos for. So please do leave a comment and like the video. It helps more than you can imagine. And if you want to go one step further and help support the channel directly, why not consider becoming a V101 core member or patron? The links are in the description. It keeps this project going and gives you some nice perks, including your name in every single video and exclusive content. Either way, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.